You're back. Oui, I have returned. Hello again. Hello again, monsieur. Well, I wasn't expecting to see you back here again. No. Well, it is a strange thing, but I am here on duty. On duty? But you're just sitting there drinking wine. No, I am not just drinking wine. I am under cover. I must be missing something. You're in uniform. Precisely, monsieur. My cover is that of an indolent, wine-guzzling police officer. You've got me convinced. Merci. But in re reality, my every muscle is poised, every nerve honed. I am drawn tight, ready to pounce. Pazang! Who or what were you planning to pazang on? You must have heard, m monsieur, of the terror that is gripping Paris. You mean the killings? Oh, at last, someone's taken action. <laughs> People die every day. No, no, I am on the trail of Sewer Jacques. I, uh... Who? Sewer Jacques, the terror of the Septuagint city. He pops up here, he pops up there. The cops, they seek him everywhere. Is he so hush or beneath the neck? That damned elusive Sir Jack. Bravo, that's very good. Merci. I was up half the night writing that. Who is this Sewer Jack character anyway? Ah, uh, if we but knew that, we could have him in custody in an hour. But he is cunning. To despoil the sewers of our fair city, he has c committed many deceptions. He has pretended to be a police officer and deluded a poor war veteran. Uh-oh. He has pretended to be a jongleur. Wow, is that the time? And an American tourist. What nationality are you, monsieur? Canadian. Well, uh, gotta go now. See ya. Well, it's not everyone who can say they started an urban myth. I didn't have time to sit around. A priest stood by the pews, energetically polishing something. Uh, excuse me, Father. Pardon? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all, monsieur. It will be my pleasure to help you. What do you know about the Knights Templar? You have come to the right place, if that is your interest. Many of them were executed in the square outside. It was a disgrace to France. Well, the Pope was right behind it, though. Clement V was a man of mammon, not of God. That's kind of forthright for a priest, isn't it? You think so? It is hard to be sure what happened. It is so long ago. How long have you worked here? Hardly work, monsieur. This is a calling. I have been helping Father Flaubert for nearly six months now. I guess you don't know much about the history of this church, then. Just a little. You've got quite a shine on that candlestick. Ah, oui. Anything less than best would be an insult to the Almighty. I guess so. I never thought of it like that. What do you make of this chalice? It uh, certainly looks very old. About as old as this church, I think. There seems to be an engraving on it. Yeah? What does it say? I do not know. It is very tarnished. With your permission, uh, I could try polishing it. Uh, I promise I will be very careful. That'd be very good of you. This uh, shouldn't take very long. Feel free to look around. Okay, thanks.
A stone knight lay in full stone armor, blank eyes looking at the ceiling. A huge stained glass window formed a magnificent centerpiece for its neighbors. I didn't recognize the biblical story in it. I was a Sunday school dropout. An enormous window. In comparison to its neighbor, it looked pretty plain. Biblical references engraved into the tomb edge to guide his way to the next world, I guess. A knight there in the company of his fellows. The statue had any secrets. It was concealing them pretty well. A statue of a knight holding a staff and a scroll. A scroll was a symbol of scholarship. I knew that much. A scholarly knight. That rang a bell. A very Spanish bell. Per disciplinum meum lux videbis. A bit of a stained glass window. Wow! Hoping for a big insight while squinting through a hunk of statuary had been pretty optimistic, I guess. The lens fitted into the end of the scroll like a hand into a glove. Hey! A Knight Templar burning at the stake, and a date. Let me see. M, C, 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 X, I, V. That's 1314. Hello again, Father. Hey, thanks. It is my pleasure, Monsieur. What was the writing on the chalice? It was not writing. Uh, my mistake. It was a coat of arms. The remarkable thing is that it seems very familiar. Yeah? Oui. I think I have seen it on that wall tomb in the far corner. That winged horse is quite distinctive. Is the right-hand window original? Oui, monsieur. Did you know that the center window conceals an image of a man burning at the stake? The burning man? What, you knew? That there was a hidden image? No. But the church has a reputation for being haunted. Many times, people have claimed to have seen a burning man in the window. But when others, they look, there is nothing. Perhaps the light has to be just so for the figure to appear. Yeah. Or maybe you need a special lens. You must be proud to have such an incredible collection of stained glass. Pride is a sin, monsieur. But it is hard not to marvel when the light shines through them. It is a fine example of the artisan's genius. I've got a red nose. Oui, so you have. Boy, what a shine you've got on this. Merci. It is all in the wrist action. Have you seen this man before? No, I have never seen him before. Have you ever heard of this guy? No, monsieur. I'm afraid not. Is he a friend? Not really. More of an acquaintance. I have here a sewer key. Ah, uh, oui? I don't know why I'm showing you this. Neither do I. I was in Ireland recently, and I brought back this plaster. My sister brought back a shillelagh. I thought about using the shake and shock on him, but I couldn't do that to a priest. There's grease paint on this tissue. 
Oui, you are correct. Catch you later. Au revoir, monsieur. I wondered if this guy had died in combat. A stone knight lay at the end of a row of four. I was surprised Philip Lebel had left this place alone. Just think, there's a dead guy under there. No. It couldn't be. Could it? Now that my attention had been drawn to it, there was no mistake. There was no name on it. But the coat of arms was undeniably the Pegasus of the De Vasconcellos family. I'd found the last resting place of Don Carlos. My eye was drawn to the biblical references carved into the edge of the tomb. Hey, maybe these biblical references mean something. Psalms 32.7, John 4.11, Corinthians 1, 4, 5, and just one more, Psalms 22.21. I may not be perfect, but I've got a memory like a steel trap. The chalice had led me to these inscriptions, but it looked like a happy coincidence to me. After all, the de Vasconcellos arms were already on the manuscript. Nope, I was still convinced that the chalice had some significance all of its own. Waiting in prayer for the judgment day. A knight's tomb, his effigy in marble lying in perpetual state. Georgie? While I was in Syria, I discovered a strange pagan statue. It was like a head with three bearded faces. Horrible. That sounds as if it could be Baphomet, the idol described by the Templars. The poor Knights of Christ had an idol that looked like that? Allegedly, yeah. The description of the idol came from the evidence extracted by the Inquisition. Mind you. Not one statue or idol was ever found on Templar property. Until now, that is. Just last month, a statue of Baphomet was unearthed right here in Paris. Where? At the Institut Hermétique de Naval. The statue is beneath the foundations. It was discovered by some workmen while renovating the building. Can you tell me any more about the statue of Baphomet? It's a fearful image, even now, a bearded head. The base of the statue is carved with Templar symbols. One of the workmen noticed a curious stain at the base. He claimed it looked like blood. Blood? That's right. What do you make of this cup, André? It's a 14th century communion vessel. Spanish, probably. You sure know your onions. Thanks for your help, André. You're welcome. Pardon me. Oui, monsieur? Does this old cup mean anything to you? Nothing, monsieur. What can you tell me about the collection of coins? 
A rare example of silver coinage from the reign of uh, Philippe Le Bel. That little old lay buried for centuries in a field on the outskirts of Paris. They are unique. Nothing like them has been found anywhere else in Europe. Thanks for your help. There was a dumpster full of debris, from the excavation, I guessed. The painter didn't seem to regard the painting as too important. Not as important as a cigarette break, anyway. Excuse me, could you help me? What is it? I've got a few questions. What does the word Templar suggest to you? Templar? Uh, nothing. Nothing. You're doing a fine job. Merci. I have my professional pride. I don't think I've ever seen a Galois smoked so stylishly. It's a natural talent. I'm being sarcastic. I'm being indifferent. You're very good at that as well. Merci. Vive l'indifférence. So, what are you doing here? I am having my break. Yeah, I mean, when you finish your break. <laughs> when I finish my break? An interesting concept, monsieur. You'll probably need to think about it. I could have another cigarette while I consider. Perhaps tomorrow too? Okay, let me put things differently. What were you hired to do here? I was hired to keep the archaeological dig in the basement of this building clear of debris. And to touch up damage to the door frames with my little pot of paint. It's a very responsible job. Unfortunately, I'm not a very responsible person. So what do you know about the excavation? I know they won't let me in to do my job. I would complain to my union, but uh, la. You couldn't be bothered to join. Right. Tell you what, though. I'm surprised at the sort of people interested in this uh, excavation. What's unusual about the visitors to the excavation? None of them look like archaeologists to me. Do you know what an archaeologist looks like? Sleepy suits, crocodile-eyed attaché cases, Rolex oyster. But no archaeologist dresses like that. Quite right, monsieur, quite right. So, who are they? Who cares as long as they pay me? I have a red nose. Imagine. Have you ever seen anything like this? Yes, it's a communion chalice. I know, you know, I used to be an altar boy. You? Yes, me. What's so funny about that? Uh, nothing. Have you seen this man before? Yes, he asked me a lot of questions, just like you. Has a guy calling himself Merlin been nosing around? Was he wearing a t-shirt with my name is Merlin on it? I doubt it. Then how the hell am I supposed to know his name just by looking at him? Huh? I've got a sewer key. I used to work in the sewer. Oh? What happened? I had a cigarette break in a pocket of methane. A manor cover landed on the other side of the Seine and I was sacked. I have some plaster of Paris. Amazing. I was pretty sure the shaken shock had shot its bolt in Syria. A greasy tissue. Don't get it too close to my cigarette, monsieur or there'll be a conflagration. Be seeing you. Au revoir, monsieur. The gate was surrounded by some pretty fancy ironwork. I couldn't climb over. A guard stood by a door I guessed led to the excavation. He looked pretty pompous. 
Well, not so much pretty, just pompous. Hi? Uh, excuse me? Oui? What do you know about the Knights Templar? There was a long pause during which the guard said nothing. Then he said, Nothing. Nothing at all? Is this a test? What, like a history pop test? No, like a test. Okay, yes, it's a test. Then I know absolutely nothing about the Templars. The guard was being amazingly evasive. It was going to take more than goodwill to get past him. So, what exactly are you doing here? I'm guarding. You expect to find me sharing sheep? Take it easy. I just didn't realize you were a guard. I'd like to know what you're guarding, please. That's a secret. It wouldn't happen to be an archaeological site, would it? Are you asking me or telling me? I'm telling you. Then why ask? I had a feeling this was no normal hole in the ground. I've got a red nose. Oh. I've got... I thought better of showing him the chalice. He might be on the conspiracy's payroll, and I didn't want to risk it. Oui? You have... A sudden urge to sing. Care to join me? No, no singing in here. Have you seen this man before? Oh, <gasps> you have. Uh, no. Do you recognize this name? Merlin. No. This gadget is a sewer key. So it is. I got this plaster from Ireland. Not an exciting souvenir. I was going to have to get rid of this thing. It was dead. Look, a tissue stained with grease paint. Ah, just what I've always wanted. If you give me that, you can enter through the door. Really? Of course not. What would I want with an old tissue? Talk to you later. Au revoir, monsieur. There was a telephone on the far wall. There was a closed door with toilet scratched into the cheap veneer. That door's locked, monsieur. I didn't think that the guard would just let me waltz past. Besides, I had a hunch that door was locked. The doorway led to an old utility closet that had lost its door. There was nothing interesting in there. Hi again. What is it? Trying to get into a locked washroom. I had the strongest feeling of deja vu. I'd like to use the washroom, but the door's locked. Oh, that's no problem. You can have the key. Thanks. Talk to you later. Au revoir, monsieur. A hand dryer was mounted on the wall. If the Club Alamut had used one of these instead of a roller towel, I'd probably still be stuck in Marib. A bin stood in the corner. It didn't look like it had been emptied for a while. I wasn't that interested in what might go into a restroom's garbage to investigate. Being in a charming comfort station like this made me think fondly of the toilet in Syria. That place was kept in pretty good order. At least, it had been until I vandalized it. Still, it was all for a good cause. I didn't need to get near to tell the toilet needed cleaning. Being in a charming comfort station like this, that place was at least... The thing felt really hot. Big demands seemed to be being made on it. Capacious as my pockets were, I didn't figure I could cram a shovel in them. I didn't want to use that unless I really had to. Oh boy! Dirty soap! How do they do that? I 
I made an impression of the big key in the cake of soap. I carefully sprinkled the plaster into the soap mold I'd made of the key. Well, it had taken a while, but I had made myself a completely unconvincing plaster key. Way too fragile to use in a lock. I'd have to substitute it for the real one. Trouble was, it looked like plaster and not metal. Then again, that plaster statue in Syria hadn't looked like stone until I'd been a bit artful with it. Maybe I could improve the key as well. What is it? Here's the keys. Thanks. Merci, monsieur. Hey, monsieur. Get away from my paint pot. Okay. I should think so. Meddling with a man's paint pot. Puh. Hey, monsieur, get away from my paint pot. Okay. I should think so. Meddling with a man's paint pot. Puh. Do you mind if I use the phone? Be my guest. I'm paid to guard this door. The phone can look after itself. Cooler. Hi, Nico. It's me. I'm at the excavation site. Hi, Georges. What's happening? I'm at the excavation, but they won't let me in. Damn. We need to know what's in there. Don't worry. I've got a scheme. I'm going to need your help, though. Okay. What do you want me to do? I want you to keep somebody on the phone for a while. Who? A painter. I need to get at his pot. Oh, okay. Stay on the line. I'll go and get him. Hi, it's me again. What now? You've got a phone call. For me? Are you certain? It's a woman. She sounded hot. What woman? She must be mistaken, monsieur. Well, she asked for that hunk of a man with the nicotine fingers and his ass hanging out of his pants. Certainly sounds like me. Stand back. It wouldn't do to keep the lady from uh, her hunk. The plaster key had soaked up the paint nicely, and now looked pretty convincing. Still felt like plaster, though. To where, monsieur? What a strange woman! She was all over me, and then suddenly, nothing but abuse. Really? Why, abuse? Ah, well. I have a cigarette to finish. And monsieur, if she calls again, I am not available.
Hi again. What is it? I need to use the uh, a toilet again. Again? Already? I have this problem. <laughs> How technical do you want me to get? Oh, never mind. Here's the key. Talk to you later. Au revoir, monsieur. Quickly and without fuss, I swapped the fake key for the real thing. A thermostat was mounted over a radiator. The radiator was pumping out heat as the thermostat was cranked right over to full. No wonder it was warm in here, even with the door open to the chill of fall. Hi again. What is it? It sure is hot in here. I have to have the door open to allow the workmen access, so why not? I turn the heat up. You could wrap up warm. I have my gloves if it gets cold, but why bother when it's warm anyway? Talk to you later. Au revoir, monsieur. I turned the heating off. A thermostat was mounted over a radiator. I'd turned the thermostat all the way down. It was getting pretty chilly. What is it? I held my breath and hoped that he wouldn't notice the substitution. Here's the keys. Uh, thanks. Merci, monsieur. Hi, Nico. It's me again. I'd guessed. What do you want this time? What did you say to the painter? I shan't repeat it, Josh. Look, I need to get the guard out of the way. Could you call back and ask him to get the painter again? Okay, I'll call back soon. This looked like a good place to watch things develop. Hey, you! It's the fun! Yeah? Who is it? How should I know? What am I? Your social secretary? It's not a chick, is it? Yes, it's a woman. Are you going to answer it? Does she have a warm, sensual voice like molten chocolate? Yes, yes, she has a really sexy voice. Now get a move on! I'm not talking to her. I can see that. You're wasting time talking to me. No, you don't understand. I refuse to talk to her. You refuse? You refuse? I'm wasting valuable time. Don't make me laugh. Your time valuable? You just stand around all day. I have a highly responsible job. Pa, don't pa me, you elephantine oaf. My job is important. Impossible. They would have hired somebody competent in that case. Meaning what? Instead of which they hired a dismal rent a cop like you. All epaulettes and no brains. Why, you? This looked set to carry on for some time. It was too good an opportunity to miss. I couldn't see anything useful to do with the planks. Close up, the pattern didn't make any sort of sense. It fanned out around an axis point. 
a kind of focus to one side. And there it was, decoded by the curves of the chalice, the image of a church. Yeah, there was a distorted picture at the Baphomet site. When I viewed it in the polished surface of the chalice, it changed. What did it show? A picture of a church with a square tower. Let's take another look at the manuscript. of the statue I saw at the bull's head. That's the lens I found on Klausner's body in the bull's head. Look at the chalice now, Nico. What happened? It's shiny. The priest at Montfaucon buffed it up for me. That's incredible. Yeah, looks as good as new. No, you found a use for a priest. That's incredible. I guess I'd better return the chalice to the Countess. Hurry back, Georges.